Guys, I'd like to welcome you back to another cube draft here on magic the internet dot YouTube slash goatsy. I can't even think about old school goatsy without laughing, you know? What a throwback to that early internet. That was just wild. It can't be unseen, that's true. 20 years later and it's still rough. Strong bad. Is there a, a chance we're gonna hit that eighth player? I bet there is. Oh good, I still get to close this. Bam, and then we go back here. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. What do we want to lead with here? An Urza? A Ragavan? Which Modern Horizons 2 card is the best? Urza? Ragavan? Um, it's really sad that those are probably my top two contenders right now. I think Urza's a better build around. Ragavan is a more powerful card in a vacuum. I think that's where I stand. I think you're right that red usually is more open. I'm gonna take Ragavan and I'm gonna be like crossing my fingers that I can actually get uh, a mountain and a Ragavan on turn one, you know? What if we're red white with Ravages of War? Is that a thing? Let's say it is a thing, hypothetically. Is that a thing we want to do? Hmm. I'm fascinated. I'm intrigued by the concept, so I'll put it in my pile. It is a thing, but I don't think if, if it is a thing you want to be doing. <sighs> I mean, it was this, or like going this direction, I either wanted this or Adelaide. And I think the other one's going to come back as well. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of Mystical Tutor unless we already have cards that are good with Mystical Tutor, like a Time Walk or a Ancestral Recall, things like that. Um, I'm also just not a fan of Blue-Red Tempo in general, so... Oh, Plateau. I really hope you come back, because right now I'm probably taking this Wandering Emperor, right? Right, that's what I mean. Like, I can just make a bunch of treasures, wait till I hit four mana, Ravages of War, then cast something big. You want to run around being a cast monkey, and you're going to be living in a Ragavan, Ragavan down by... You're going to live in a Ragavan down by the river. That's true. This is an island and a mountain. And by that, I mean plains and a mountain. Oh, I'm going to take Esper Sentinel, though. That is another Modern Horizons card <laughs> that is absolutely broken. I don't think it's Young Pyromancer. I kind of just like Lion Sash. And by that, I mean I haven't played this yet, but I think it's probably better for whatever deck we're trying to play here. I'll take a Gidgen. Oh, Bone Crushers seems great here. All right, I kind of like what's going on here. I'm a fan of it. We're having a good time. I have not played Sl Slay the Spire, though it is in my Steam library. It is a it is a game that I would like to to try at a certain point. Can we argue that a Ragavan is half rat? More like Radavan, am I right? I think Boros Signet's pretty good, especially because we're trying to destroy the lands. I, I wouldn't mind having a Restoration Angel or an Embereth Shieldbreaker either, but... 
I'm just taking Hero of Bladehold. It just wins games. I don't want that many four drops, but I mean, these are all pretty good. Rob, have a good night, buddy. Wait, you take Signets. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. <laughs> God. Oh, boy. Stop it. Get some help. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, this guy. Good night, Robert. It sounds really intimate when you say it with his full name. Good night, Robert. Robert, I hope you have. Oh, the Adelaide came back. Adeline. 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 I'm thinking of the city in Australia. Okay, the plateau came back. <laughs> <laughs> I also wouldn't have minded um oh I can just play dismember even. I also wouldn't have minded getting that Avazin, but I'm I'm definitely taking the plateau. Oh my god, Adia. I haven't heard Adia in like ages. <laughs> no one here ever thinks of them oh dear we're also only two colors off of Omnath so you know fingers crossed I'm just gonna eh, these are both good that guy's fine this is a solid 11 cards here I would have loved a um, a Mox Pearl or a Mox Ruby, but I guess Magic Online's a little bitch, so I want to just take the land here. I, I don't really love balance in decks like this because I really don't want to have to sacrifice all my creatures, which is probably going to be more than their creatures. Would you accept a Mox Puby? Hmm. Um. No. No. Oh, uh, Lightning Bolt is just a solid gentleman, right? God, look how proud people should be of me for first picking Fixing, you know? Like, I'll take a, a Lightning Bolt. And I wish it didn't have this modern frame on it. Grim Monolith. That's interesting. What if we could smoke a Mix Doobie? <laughs> I assume you mean Mox Doobie. Oh, God. I do like Stone Forge. I also like Grimmonolith, though. I'm going to go Stone Forge. And again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hope we get some, some sweet daddies. God, if I took that Grimmonolith, we would have an Inferno Titan here. Wouldn't even feel, wouldn't even feel bad. Actually, this is a 3-3. Three, three. Seems pretty good. And then if it's later in the game, you just cast it as a six drop. Yeah, that seems great. Let's do that. Just never for an artifact card with mana cost zero or one. Can we search for Esper Sentinel or does it have to be zero or one generic mana? I think it has to be zero or one generic mana. That's stupid. For some reason that just occurred to me. Uh, I, I kind of feel like I should have known that ahead of time, but... I kind of did. I just wanted to reread it to make sure. But honestly, it might still be the pick. I like this guy. I also love Showdown of the Scalds. Yeah, the D stands for Doobie. It's for Sunny Doobie. Sunny Doobie. Do, 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 do. Oh, little doobies. This is two of our colors, which is nice. I think it's actually Smuggler's Copter. I kind of never get Smuggler's Copter. And now I kind of want to play it. Mm. And I'm literally just going to take every fixing land because that feels good. These all come into play untapped as well. It's 
Sunny doobies, they'll burn your throat. I like Nahiri here, but I think we're actually just taking Porcelain Legionnaire. He can crew the copter, he can wear a, a equipment. God, man. Porcelain Legionnaire. Could have also been Gideon, but I'm trying to not be um, picking up too, too many expensive cards. Like, we already have three, four four drops. Flicker Wisp is actually kind of fine. This is actually a one drop in our deck. <laughs> we have no way to pay black, so. Oh yeah, Magda just accruing. Oh, actually, Magda with any vehicle. Even I, I kind of hope the unlicensed hearse comes back as well. I'll take a goblin guide, even if it's just to crew. Because I want to be honest, man, I don't love a goblin guide. What if we tap all four lands, sack two to fire blast them, and then ravages of war? Would that be cool? Yes. That would be very cool. That would be very cash money. All right, well, I'm still going to take Inferno Titan because it's just good. Showdown came back. We had a feeling. By we, I mean this guy. Porcelain Legionnaire is the best red two drop. <laughs> Oh, wow. I kind of like both of these, but based on the number of non-creatures, I'm going to take the Abbot of Carol Keep. We still got another pack. Mox Ruby one time. Here it comes. You ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Damn it. Well, there's nothing great here, so I think we're just taking Flooded Strand. Which gets both Plateau and Sacred Foundry, which is super nice. Um, I'm kind of kind of hoping we get some pickups for our Urza Saga slash our Stoneforge Mystic. Always keeping my fingers crossed to get past that that sweet mox because Pearl and Ruby are not not the best of the bunch. I almost don't hate Monastery Mentor here because we actually have a bunch of spells to follow it up with. We also do have 22 playables. You know what I, you know what I, I, I kind of get excited for? Um, more Titans of the, the Elder Titans, like a Euro and a Croxa. Cause I was just thinking like, Wooded Foothills would be great if there was a white red Titan and we ended up getting that. I feel like it's Monastery Mentor. I just feel like it's really good. Oh, wow. That's a late mana drain. Intrepid Adversary is great, right? Uh, put that many. Yeah, Intrepid Adversary is fantastic. Never anything cool like Boros Reckoner these days. Well, we just found Kerwitz alt account. I'm going to take this Giver of Runes. Oh, a Sunbaked Canyon. Man, I do like a Skyclave Apparition a lot. Recruiter? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Recruiter. Oh, my God. I don't like the Recruiter, only because it's so expensive. Like, there's so many things I'd rather be doing for three mana. Skyclave, Skyclave kills a lot of annoying stuff. I kind of want the Sunbaked Canyon, though. What if this comes back? This is probably going to come back. I'm going to take the Recruiter and cross my fingers that that canyon comes back. I'll just take Silverblade Palette. Actually, maybe Kitchen Finks? Yeah, I like Finks a little better for the, the life gain. Okay, so we, like we have no equipment whatsoever. <laughs> okay, that's unfortunate. This is really good and really late. I think we're taking Spellbinder here.
Oh, I guess we have Lion Sash. But that doesn't seem good enough, to be honest with you. I think it's Path here. Yeah, nothing. Dang it. That was the end. All right. Uh, walking Shut Ballista up and take seems my money. fine. Kerwit, did you say you don't like Reckoner? No, I never said that. Did you just make you just made that up. <laughs> What'd you say, boy? Also, guys, I don't think anyone has signed up for HelloFresh, and all I'm asking for is to hit that ten. I don't know. It seems it seems impossible. The sky cave has no internet. Do you mean the sky clave? <sighs> so this is 28. We're going to need like five cuts. Our Urza saga sucks. Our stone forge is not super impressive here. I'll take a sulfuric vortex. Burn some mothers out. So currently I'm going to take out... Yeah, might as well take the green source. Thank you. That's searchable. Oh, Dennis, what up, buddy? Good seeing you. Thank you for the resub, my dude. Really appreciate it, man. Uh, let's just play 10 lands. Stop taking stuff out. Good point. Good point. Here's an Imperial Recruiter. I'm going to take Destroy Yule. Uh, okay, so Stoneforge can come out. I'm probably going to take a Lion Sash out as well because I just don't want it in the main deck. Dang it, that's sad. Inferno Titan might be too expensive. And I think we can actually play 16 lands here. I'm, I feel like that's very possible. Oh, Containment Priest, okay. Oh yeah, the restaurant experience was rough. I mean... Their resolution was very good. I still have to respond to his email and be like, yes, we would definitely accept that. We really appreciate it. It was super generous. Like, that's a extremely generous offer. So this is a three. Bone Crusher's a two. Dismember's a one. Uh, Porcelain's a two. So this is currently kind of our curve. But we have nothing more than four. So I think we can actually just take one more card out and play 16 lands. You may play those cards. I still have four cards. This doesn't let you play an extra land, which kind of makes me sad. I kind of don't like Goblin Guide, I'll be honest. Especially, like, without equipment. I think this is the deck, and I don't know if it's any good. A low-rate Fire Blast? Can someone, can someone ban Tom Bombman from the chat? Because that's really insulting. To fire blast. Oh, uh, how many mountains? Actually, when you when you say it, you know, when you say it like that, I guess. You know, you're you might be right. You might be onto something here. I just like the combination with the combination. <laughs> I like the combo with uh with ravages where like I, uh, sack two, shoot their face and then sack and then all the lands die. Because, like, being able to take some... Also, don't forget Plateau and Sacred, Sacred Foundry are both, are both mountains as well. I'm not being anyone... For, why do you think I hate Reckoner? I never said that. Um, I, I like Containment Priest. I don't think it hoses that many decks because it's non-token. If it was token, though, I'd be like, I'm all on board. I, I, I actually, yeah, I think this is fine. We, we are significantly lower red, but I think we'll still have enough red. Because we also want to have enough red for Ragavan on turn one. So, so we're definitely going down here. And probably up here. And this is what? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven versus five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know why I counted. It's obviously going to be one less. So it's ten, eleven. I mean, that seems pretty good. Eleven white sources seems just fine. Actually, maybe even one, two, three, four, five. This is seven. 
I don't really want to go down to six mountains. Why one swamp? Because Magic Online loves doing that. Uh, they put it in for the dismember. So yeah, now we can actually get that one extra planes that I was thinking of. Yeah, that's fine. Seven mountains is fine. I have no idea if this deck is any good whatsoever, but it looks like it could be fun. Hmm. Fascinating. There's like <laughs> half the deck is literally one and two drops. Let me look at it. Let's, let's, uh, okay. We have one, even, even, even the ones I can't, cast right now one two three four five six seven eight nine nine cards in our deck 25 percent are one or two mana and we have none of them if we top deck a ragavan i'll call it even but you're dead to me I mean, I kept this on the basis of, like, 25% of our deck being one and two drops that can, like, actually compete here. Plus, like, I think Spellbinder on three into, like, Hero of Bladehold is just fine a lot of times. Ooh, Snake Man. Fascinating. Maybe it's actually Skyclave Apparition. Get rid of that. No, we're going to Spellbinder. We want to see what they have. Thoughtseize. Ashen Rider. Braids. Braids is pretty good with snake tokens. Yeah, we'll just take the braids. That seems fine. Oh yeah, Voidwalker is insane. Like, not having to pay the mana to cast it is really ridiculous. We let them keep Thoughtseize because they just don't care at what they get and they can just still play it anyway. Here, that's fine. Like, we can't stop them from making a snake every single turn, so... Hero is literally just going to get eaten by a snake. Like, even if we do get rid of this, like, it's still... They still get a snake, so... That's fascinating. Thoughtseize is gone. I assume they played that mountain. Yep. So now they have Braids, Ashen Rider. Right? But what do they draw? Am I insane? Braids is exiled. Braids is gone. They have Ashen Rider and one more. Yep. Okay. I'm just trying to, like, that, that was just an interface issue where I'm like, what does that mean? Do I just cast this with prototype and not give a shit about their other things? That seems good, right? And we can also give Ragavan flying. Does it doesn't give haste, right? Flying, vigilance, or lifelink. Lifos. Yeah, I, it's interesting because like these cards, these cards are really kind of cool because you get to look at them as like a three, three for three in white or a six, a five, four for six in any other color. Shut up and take my money. Oh, MTG Packrat, so you can afford more signets in the future. <laughs> wow. 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 MTG Packrat, just, just so you know, I'm enjoying these interactions much more. Uh, sacrifice a permanent that shares a type. No, you can draw a card and get two life. That's totally fine. Because now we can just Skyclave Apparition, that idiot. Or we can Dismember it. But I kind of want to save Dismember for this. Maybe not. I don't know. Who knows? What's going on? Let's attack first. Give this little monkey float. This monkey's floating. God, he's he's just getting better.
What was the card? It was a land. Yes. Oh, also, the treasure token produces black, so we're taking two less damage from this dismember. What a bargain. Okay. Swinging from the trees, riding the doobie smoke breeze. Buddy, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Don't need that. Containment Priest seems like something we might use here. Yeah, I remember when Ragged Man was just a 2-1 and he literally disappeared at the end of combat. Those are the days. Yeah, let's bring in Sea Priest. Sea Priest, run. Run, Priest, run. Uh, I'll take out the Fire Blast for that. Sure, why not? This is a hand I just kept. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Ragavan. It was not. I mean, if we get to go Hero of Blade Hold into on turn three into turn four Ravages of War, maybe that's good. Get to the chopper. That's what my crew calls doobies. Oh, I see. It's rude. Oof. Interesting. Hmm. This is a good hand, man. So, the pro like, I actually, they can go Shriek Maw kill this, and while Shriek Maw's Evoke is on the stack, they can crew. That's pretty cool. I think because of that, we're taking the Shriek Maw. If we take, I mean, they're just going to, like, I don't want to get in with no creatures out. And if we take Dothy, I think they're going to do what I said with the Shriek Maw and kill our Elite Spellbinder. Interesting. That was a good draw. This smuggler's copter is really, really ruining our plans. That's not bad. So what are we, their hand is literally Damnation, Dothy, Voidwalker, Una's Prowler. Now I'm tempted to go Ravages of War, play our mountain, keep up Dismember when they crew we dismember but we kind of lose that race I mean we just lose the race though that's the problem <laughs> it's not a spell mom it's an evoked creature oh man Well, we have to play our land post Ravages, which means we have to tap the Voros Signet. I think it's it still feels correct because we still have we can Abbot next turn and try to hit a land. Uh, it puts us no, it doesn't put us ahead because we we take four from Dismember when they go to Crew. They did not crew. That is fascinating. Also, this is a this is a three one. That I just think is what you meant. 
Yep. Actually, it makes sense that they didn't crew because, like, they have a steady stream of looting if they don't. Oh, that's rough because we could have just played that next turn. But such is life. I wish Abbot of Carol keeps it until your next turn. Wouldn't that be great? Because then I don't feel bad about playing him on turn two. This worked out very well. <laughs> One more land and Gideon is probably going to seal that deal because they need two lands. There we go. That'll do, pig. Man, Ravages of War doing the doing the dirty. That was good. That was a fun, a fun Magic the Gathering game. <sighs> Fastest trophy time, people start the clock. <laughs> One day I'll I'll have I'll have a uh, a ragavan in the opener. One day. Ooh, pared down. Interesting. And they mulligan to six. How do you even win then? Oh, I should also restart Magic Online. I'll do that after this. I can feel the. I can feel the lag slowly building. This is how we hit those land drops, you know what I'm saying? What were they thinking when they made this card? <laughs> There's so many cards where I'm like, why would you do this? I cannot believe you've done this. Oh, they're hasting this guy. That's fascinating. I guess that makes sense. You know, if I ever play against someone who has Ragavan, and I have Ragavan, they always get their Ragavan. But also, I kind of didn't want that. I wanted this land. It's not a land, son of a biscuit. No, stop it. Get some help. I think we try to hit a land here. Jeez Louise. God, we're living the dangerous life. Okay. Mother Trucker. That's annoying. Because if we hit a red, we would lightning bolt the monkey. If we hit a... Oh, they're just, they're just going to play something not monkey related. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. That's what Papa likes. We're definitely going to dismember that. Hmm. Kind of want to keep that because maybe we hit land next turn and do that. Wouldn't that be neat, kids? Yeah, we'll get rid of Adelaide here instead. <laughs> I'm just going to call her Adelaide forever now. That's just her name. Adeline. Lines and Lades. Yeah, play all those lands. Beautiful. Ooh, 
What's it going to be? Monkey. Okay, is it when he attacks? Whenever it deals combat damage, create a treasure token. Okay, so nothing happens until he deals the damage. Don't you know you've got to stomp the monkey? Oh yeah, big crush. Oh, well, that's rude. It's like the rudest thing you could have done. I want to see what they have. And let's set ourselves up for a... Ooh, Palace Jailer and Nahiri, huh? I think we just get rid of Nahiri. Yes. Because next time they're going to play Palace Jailer, we can kill... Lauren, and then we have two creatures. So this is their hand. That's gone. These two. They're going to play Misha's Factory, I assume. I'm going to kill this now because I don't want them to start drawing cards. I don't want them to be like, all right, in response, I'll draw a card. So next turn, we're going to go Ravages, and then we're going to get the Monarchy back. So killing Jailer doesn't actually do anything. Getting the monarchy is what, what does the Jailer thing. Which is a common misconception. Like once Jailer's on the battlefield, it doesn't matter what you do to the Jailer. Uh, they get the creature until you become the monarch. So all we have to worry about is attacking with both. And then we get the monarchy. And then, well, I guess they're going to take one. So they probably take Elite Spellbinder. Oh, Interesting. And they didn't play Jailer. Fascinating. But we know you have two cards. You have Mishra's Factory and Palace Jailer. I'm confused. Okie dokie. <laughs> well, that was wild. That was wild. Why wouldn't, what, why wouldn't you, like, I don't understand why you go to five, I guess. Like, you could take, I mean, I guess you're not in a great position once you play Palace Jailer, right? You take my flyer, you have to block my three, two, my three, one, or else you lose the monarchy and I get my elite spellbinder back. But if you just block with Palace Jailer, then on your turn, you still have the monarchy. You can play your six land, which is Misha's factory, and then play Nahiri for the two extra. Then you can exile my porcelain legionnaire. So like you'd still have the monarchy at that point. So I don't know, like that seems. Like it doesn't, it seems like playing palace jailer there is not terrible. I kind of like walking ballista here. I mean, even if it just kills like Ragavan. <laughs> Ooh, God, we, we finally did it. Oh my God. Oh my God, finally. They're going to give me an Esper Sentinel so that I have to choose. Okay. Now I do not have to choose. And we have a dismember just in case. Oh, man. <laughs> lucky, 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 lucky. Oh, that's a plateau if I ever saw one. But we have ravages. Maybe we save it. 
Excellent. Yeah, if it was a mountain, they probably wouldn't have had it. It's because I did Inspire Vantage. Don't they die to shock for Nahiri on six? No, because... Actually, yes, because I would have gotten Elite Spellbinder back. That's a good point. I would have gotten Elite Spellbinder back from when I... No, because I wouldn't have gotten the Monarchy. So, we'll break it down. I have Elite Spellbinder and Porcelain Legionnaire. They take Elite Spellbinder with Palace Jailer. They have the Monarchy. I attack with Porcelain Engineer. They block with Spellbinder or with uh, Palace Jailer. They lose Palace Jailer, but they maintain the Monarchy. So I have one creature still. Still have just Porcelain Legionnaire that's tapped. Now they play their sixth land. They play Nahiri. They exile Porcelain Legionnaire, and I have no creatures on board. And they're still they still have the Monarchy. So I'm like, I'm actually pretty sure they would have been in good condition. But that's actually, wait, hold on, what? Cast this guy. One, two. We also actually would have just ravages after they, that, I mean, I guess that's not true because like we would have just attacked with Porcelain Engineer and then ravages. So never mind. That doesn't actually work. But the point is they wouldn't have been dead to like a shock. Oh, fascinating. Hmm, that's a thing, isn't it? Let's see if we can hit a land here. A Flicker Wisp. So what do you think the odds are they have Lauren of the Third Path and they're going to kill this smuggler's copter? I think it's about 400%. Okay. That's an interesting... That's an interesting inclusion. I'm not sure what that does. It's Mythic on Twitch. Have a good night, buddy. Tell Mike I say happy birthday and hopefully I'll see you on the weekly holiday chicken Sunday. I hope to see you then as well. And may you and your family have a happy chicken Sunday. Ooh, the no attacks. Fascinating. I feel like we're way ahead here, but who knows? Anything can happen, you know? I mean, we get to resolve showdown and keep up dismember, which is kind of cool. And I think we do have, we're probably going to have a land on top, right? In the top four. Oh, two lands and a lightning bolt. Oh, Jesus. Oh God, they have a family. I kind of want to just loot this away. But, maybe not. Maybe we just attack with this guy. Maybe we just attack with this guy. Maybe we just attack with Copter. That seems correct, right? Let's go to the videotape. We got two cards in hand. Let's see if one is a removal spell. Easy peasy. Uh, I don't want to attack with both because I just don't want them to get a token from this. 
It was probably correct, though, to be honest. We also have Lightning Bolt in hand, so. I think this is why I don't play aggro decks, because I'm just naturally a more conservative magic player. And they have two cards, and I'm like, what if their last card is like two six drops? They don't hit a land, but they attack with Magda, and they don't have anything to block, and then they... Like, and then they can also haste in like a Ragavan. Solitude. Hard cast. I'm fascinated. Uh, no, you have until the end of your next turn, which is why, because you want it to, it, it's supposed to synergize with the second and third chapters. Until the end of your next turn, you may, you may play those cards. That's fine. They have one card in hand? Okay. I mean, it might have even been better to hold it. Sure. No. Don't like that. No. Don't like that. See? Now they get to do this. Oh, they didn't do anything. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Um, play this guy. Play this guy. One, two, three, four. Put a counter on that guy for sure. For show. Putting a counter on that guy for show. Guess we'll get in there. I don't actually have to do this now, so we're just going to wait. So next turn we can Ravages <laughs> and then play a land. I do want to dismember before the EOT, though, so I can get this trick. Oh, I guess it actually, there's a third chapter, so. And also Ravages puts another counter on our guys, so that's nice. I feel like we're in good... Okay. <laughs> that answers that. Yeah, quick 2-0, 4-0. That's nice. I will play first. Thank you. Wow. Kesem, thank you for the for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, my dude. I will keep this hand. Wow. Fingers crossed, am I right? Okay, this time it is Mountain Ragavan, so that's gotta that's gotta be the winning combination, right? <laughs> no wah wah moments, please. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh god, don't cry. Oh god. <laughs> I'm in danger. Oh, fascinating. Well, the prophecy is still foretold. They still have it when they have it. Lightning bolt? Dismember. Sacred Foundry. Also good. Hmm. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> Just gonna pass here. Oh, 
Oh yeah, give me that. Oh yeah, give me that sweet card. God, this card's unreal, dude. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Wandering Emperino, huh? All right, we're just going to pass here. A couple four drops in the hand. You know how you do. Oh, they didn't do anything. I'm fascinated. Hmm. We're just going to keep wandering Emperor up. If they don't want to do anything, I'm not going to do anything. And now we get to draw a card. V-click. Targeting us, huh? I'll just put this guy up to four. <whistles> Oof. Oof. And we get to draw another card. My God. I guess that's fine. Wait, they could have paid for Sentinel and didn't. That's kind of funny. Oh, did they just tap their three regular lands and not the Signet? That's weird. They have two cards in hand. Let's lead with this gentleman. This lady. Uh, play a land here. And this guy. All the, Everything's resolving, huh? Upheaval and Fractured Identity. I guess we're taking Upheaval. Fractured Identity seems less scary than Upheaval, ironically. We're just going to get in there. Like, if they want to trade, let's get these guys off the board. Sounds great. I think they just fractured identity this guy. Can we get to draw a card once you do this? No, change your mind. Four mana, five mana. That's cute and all, but I'm still going to exile it. Hmm. 
Hmm. That's an interesting proposition that you've come up with. Where's it going to go? Nobody knows. Fourteen to fourteen, very evenly matched here. Yeah, return it to him. Oh, it didn't come back. Okay. That's really good. High tide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you float one. You can play Mox. Is it Signet Land? That's actually really good. That's frustrating. This costs eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, so they don't float anything, actually. They just get to go land, mox. Is, I guess that's still good. That still does it, doesn't it? <laughs> no, it spirals was exiled with Force of Negation. They have upheaval. They have Steam, Sacred, Island, Island, Mox, Signet. Another island. And now they have Mox, Signet, Island. I mean, they have no threats and they're still in kind of top deck mode. Yep, so now they have Steam, Sacred Island, Island. Sure. That is a Signet. That's my turn. So one, two. Three. Four. Our hand seems pretty good here. Oh, good. They drew something. <laughs> Grim Monolith. Okay. Well, that is the thing. I assume we're also going to play a land. Steamy boy. Adelaide. He's still calling it Adelaide. I mean, is it possible our opponents just draw nothing and then we just get to win? Sacred Foundry. So island, island, whatever you drew. I'm intrigued. Tempted to Skyclave the Grim Monolith. Okay. There's the other island. Four, five, six. Inferno Titan, kill everything. Everflowing Chalice. <laughs> 
Pirates. Okay. That's that's, an, that's a choice for sure. That's a thing you did. So you know you have Grim and one more island in hand? That's your hand, huh? No, we don't have Grim. We didn't bounce that. We just got rid of it forever. I don't think the, maybe the mana does matter, actually. I don't even know right now. I'm almost more interested in, like, either playing this or playing this. And how much is this guy? I mean, adversary this turn is lethal, too, right? Because this is three. This is five. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Puts them to five. And then, like, almost any of these creatures are, are lethal. I guess that's true that almost anything is lethal anyway. Yeah, this is fine. Is this real? Put him to six. Now we got lethal on the board. Vencer. Adelaide. Should still be lethal, right? They can't block three. They block the two. They take... Yeah, this should still be good. Actually, we'll leave you back. Give you pro blue. So now they're taking five and they block either one of these, they die, right? Sure. Wow, that was good. I literally thought that was the last game. That's weird. Um, destroy evil. No. Containment priest. No. Relic order. <laughs> Relic order seems good up until the point where they upheaval and then they get their artifact back and then it's actually just worse. Uh, I think this is probably just fine. I mean, I actually wonder if sulfuric vortex is good here. Like, it's not like they're gaining a ton of life, but it's just kind of, they're kind of dirtily. I'm just going to submit like this. You know what? Sometimes you just want to play 41 cards like a maniac. Did I hear 60? No. Well, they didn't play a Ragavan.
Also, Mentor on three and to steal Seraph, giving Mentor flying and then dismembering something seems good. What do I know? Hold on one second. Ollie and Trazi messaged me. My boy. So we have no incentive not to attack here because unlike Mother of Runes, she cannot protect herself. Wow. The dirtiest of dirties. I hope you're proud of yourself. Do you take any of this? Did Moochel have a good birthday? I hope you got him something nice. I did. I did. The gift of friendship keeps on giving. The gift that keeps on giving. What did they take? Steel Seraph. Interesting choice. Three, huh? So one, two, three. And this lets us play Ragavan, right? Cool. Let's just draw a Ragavan. A lightning bolt. That's like a Ragavan. I no longer feel bad if you ravage them this game. You know, me neither. Me neither. I'll, I'll remove the counter first, and then I will uh, decide which land. Like, Smokestack and, and Tangle Wire, I think one of the most frustrating parts is that it's just not symmetrical. Like, your opponent has the first, res like, uh, not response, but, like, the first detrimental effect from Tangle Wire. They feel it first. And then when it's your turn, you feel it one less than they did. Would you play Ragavan as a man or a monkey? Play him as a man. <laughs> what is that? What was that from? So I'm actually not sure I want to keep Bolt up. I think they definitely have Venser here. Oh, Murderous Rider. Wow, that was so good. Cast him as a bad. I kind of think I just want to play Mentor and keep up. Giver of Runes instead. I mean, they know we have this. They have four untapped mana. Come on, let's be honest. We know what's happening here. Little Venser, he's my shaper savant, don't you? Oh, Remand? That's better. That means they don't have any pressure on the board, so that's good. Here we go. Upheaval. Time spiral. Fascinating. That sounds interesting. 
So we both start with seven cards. I have a creature and five lands. You have six lands. Oh, okay. You're doing some more nonsense. I'm going to listen to this a clip. A rider as a man. <laughs> Cast him as a man. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's saying it as like a command. Now we're gonna appeal, and he's just—it's just gonna yeah, be. Because I didn't even understand what it meant at first. I was like, "Wait, what does that mean?" Oh, hold on, hold on. So we cast him as a man. <laughs> Stop saying it. I don't know what's going on. I guess they're upheavaling. Who knows? They don't have any ramp though. I don't know, man. This is bad. This is stupid. Cool, you got Ragavan with Dash? What the fuck? <laughs> you have no mana floating, you get one treasure token. What'd you get exiled? A land, cool. That's it, that's your upheaval? What the fuck? <laughs> Why are you like this? Why are you the way that you are? So, I mean, we can either cast ours, or we can cast... Yeah, we're just going to cast ours. Let's not be stupid here. So, I have four cards. I need five cards I have to discard, and that's pretty brutal. I'm probably keeping three lands. Maybe two lands. We're definitely going to get rid of this one. Probably give her. Uh, it's two. One of these two planeswalkers. Gideon is three. Flicker Wisp is four. Oh. Okay, that's fine. I probably would have given up one more land, actually, and kept Gideon. But we can go Esper into Elite. Oh, what? What? They didn't play anything? <laughs> I don't understand. What is happening? What the fuck? It's it's a it's connecting? What is going on? Remand's in the trash, right? No, you got the remand back? Sure. That's that's a thing you can do, I guess. I'm so confused right now. Because now your treasure's gone. Ragavan dashing again. I... But mine connects too. Like having it on the board is so much better because I get to connect first, see what you have, get the mana to use on my turn. Like when you dash it, you don't actually really get to do anything with the stuff you take. Now, we, like now you're done, right? Like what in the earth is happening? Everflowing Chalice. Maybe we play that. So we got one, two, three, four. We can Everflowing for two, or we can just play like Esper Sentinel Everflowing for one, or we can play Elite Spellbinder. Uh, I don't think he affects dash costs. Or we can just keep a yeah, I think we could just keep up Wanderer. I do like that a lot. All 
Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I guess it doesn't affect dash cost, but you just can't dash it anymore because he's gone. The problem is if they don't do anything, though, like we just get to keep hitting with Ragavan. So I don't know what's going on. Grim Moni. The Grim Moni. Okay, you're just getting a bunch of mana out there. Oh, they're doing a dash? Wait, they just played Grim Monolith to do a dash. What the fuck? <laughs> Guys, I've never said the F word this much in a stream before. This is wild. Wow. Spell Pierce. I mean, okay, I guess you got Grim Monolith out. Bone Crusher, sure. Again, can't do anything with it. I don't. Yeah, my inner Tourette's is finally coming out. I think I'm just utterly so shocked that it's like, what's going on? Well, now that we have all the big stuff out. Echo of Eons. Good grief. I'm kind of glad that's gone, to be honest. Show me what you've got. Venser, Ragavan, and another Tangle Wire. Let's take Venser. Because I really don't care about the Ragavan or the Tangle Wire. Your hand is actually... It's kind of sad. Okay, that one's gone. Oh, it is the same Tangle Wire from when they upheavaled. When they heaved up. Are you gonna pay? You didn't pay, you let me draw, huh? I'm very tempted to path my own guy here. Their hand is Ragavan Tangle Wire. They can't, like we're never getting this guy back, right? So pathing it is almost the same as pathing their copy, but they don't get to take a card. I feel like we're surprisingly ahead right now. Right, and we get the land instead of they do. So, oh, that was, wow. That's a strong boy. Come on, strong boy. Let's get this. Uh, yep, this is a thing. Well, I didn't attack first because we have Adeline in our deck. So if we draw an Adeline and some way to play it, uh, which there might not even be. We can play a Vendillion click here, right? No, it's not for any colors, right? You to cast that card. Yeah, okay. So they still want two blue for it. They're at four. God, there's no way we can win this turn, right? We can play Monastery Mentor here. Uh, 
you know, I guess that makes I guess that makes Ragavan just a little bit more fair, but you know, not much. Come on. Okay, so we need to have Ragavan Tangle Wire. Let's see if you're gonna play Wrath of God here. No. No Wrath of God. But you're not even casting. So we know you have Ragavan Tangle Wire. Oh, okay. We just won the game. <laughs> All right. Well, 3 0. Not too bad. Do we have any. Do we have treasure chests we can open that I've just been ignoring? <gasps> Four treasure chests. Let's open all of them, see what we can get. Okay, we got 20 play points, a Bogarden Hellkite, a Queen Kayla Bin Krug, Bishop, Diamond Lion. Okay, so this is all junk. But all right. Thank you guys for watching. Check out HelloFresh. No one, we still didn't hit 10. Unfortunate. What can you do? But uh, definitely consider it. It's a great deal. 21 free meals, free shipping across your first eight orders. And uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate you. I'll see you next time.